Hello, I'm Alex G. Zarate, author, artist, and photographer. Each post I share will cover various topics, including my likes, goals, setbacks, and personal reflections. Welcome to my creative journey. This is a special podcast I made with fellow creatives who've joined me in sharing words of encouragement during these trying times. Rachel Payetta, Teresa Jacobs, Jim Keen, and Christina Hamlet. Hello, lovely creators. My name is Rachel Payetta. I'm a writing coach, freelance writer, short story creator, and aspiring novelist. As passionate as we are about writing or other creative works, I think we can all agree that at times it can be a lonely job, whether we're doing it for fun or for work. Now with things being locked down for so long and people having to shelter in place, that loneliness can feel even more intense. You're not alone though. There are creatives with similar goals, facing similar challenges, and we are all here for each other. My advice to you during this time is to look for online support to help you carry on with your writing, creative, or big life dreams. And no matter what, don't ever give up. Your goals and dreams are completely valid and you are worthy to see them come true. I wish all the best for you, and in particular, I wish you happy writing and creating. Hi, my name's Teresa Jacobs. I write speculative fiction. That's a mix of genres. I start with horror and I'll mix in science fiction, action, intrigue, so you never know what's gonna happen next. And I just want to say that it's never too late to realize your dreams. I didn't start writing until I was in my 40s, and I have nine books in five years. So never give up, keep pushing forward, and stay safe. Hi everyone, I'm Jim Keen. Over the last five years, I've been writing the Cortex Cyberpunk series set in 2050s New York. My first two novels are due to be released this spring, and for a while I felt really sad that the pandemic had come along right at the moment I've been working towards all those years. But I went ahead and I published, and the reaction has been fantastic. It's really shown me that no matter what struggles come along, don't give up. Just keep going in whatever way you can. Keep writing, drawing, or homeschooling your kids. We can make the world a better place with our creativity, so don't give up. Hi, this is author and playwright Christina Hamlet. If you ever said, I'll write my novel someday when I have the time, well, you've always had all the time you need. It's called one page a day. If you write only one page a day, that's not much, is it? But you do this consistently for 365 days. A year from now, you will have written that book you always promised yourself. Only a few simple rules to follow. The first is not to edit as you write. Save the editing for when you're done. Secondly is that word consistently. When you commit to one page a day, it means you don't get to take a day off, not for weekends, holidays, or even vacation. Third, and most importantly, if you have a rush of genius and write seven pages at one sitting, hurrah, you're ahead of schedule. But it doesn't mean you can then goof off for the next week and write nothing. Keep to the code, fellow wordsmiths. We'll expect to see you back here again tomorrow and writing that one page a day. I want to thank everyone who joined me in this podcast. May our positive messages provide ongoing encouragement to spread good words and better days around the world. I hope you enjoyed this post. Thanks for stopping by. Stay inspired and keep creating.